Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would go through some of my favorite jewelry pieces with you. It wasn't until recently that I started collecting jewelry and kind of being more thoughtful about each piece. I used to be quite frivolous with jewelry and buy kind of lots of fast fashion pieces that would tarnish. But for the past, I would say maybe six years or so, I stopped doing that and I started focusing more on buying fewer pieces, but focusing focusing on trying to buy better quality. Much like my wardrobe and my clothes, I kind of see each jewelry piece as an investment and I try to be more thoughtful and intentional about the pieces that I bring into my life, which I realize as I say out loud sounds really dramatic. <laughs> but I think you know what I mean. We're just trying to be better about our purchases. So let's just dive into it. I'm going to start with earrings because I think that is my biggest category of jewelry. Of all my jewelry pieces, I would say that earrings are the ones that I switch up the most. I've got three piercings in this ear and two in this ear. So I really like to kind of mix and match my pieces together. So the ones I've got in now are from Ideal. I probably wear my Ideal earrings the most as they are really high quality and they're made with 14 karat solid gold and lab grown diamonds. You can sleep in them and shower in them. I very comfortably wear these to the gym and I don't have to kind of worry about taking them in and out. I've been wearing Ideal for, I would say a year and a half now and I still absolutely love of each piece that I have. But if you haven't seen me wear or talk about Ideal before, let me show you how it works. So the amazing thing about Ideal is their modular concept. So how it works is you start with a stud, which I have here. And their studs come in three different sizes. I wear all of mine in the petite size, which is the smallest size. Once you choose what stud you want, then you can choose an add-on. So for instance, I have this diamond hoop here, absolutely stunning. And you put the stud in the hoop and there you have it. So I'll show you the kind of sort of current stack that I've got in my ear now. So the first one is the Romy. That one is the one that kind of just curves really beautifully down your earlobe. Then the second one is the Audrey, and that is the one that has a kind of evil eye sort of look. I <laughs> really like this one. And then lastly, I've got the Lucia, which is a kind of ear climber. And I think this one is really unique. I've never seen anything like this one before. Let me show you a couple more add-ons that I have from Ideal. They've got some chains, which I think look really cool, especially if you don't wanna have too much diamonds. Sometimes, you know, you like to be a bit more paired back. So let me show you those. So they have this chain add-on. It comes in a pair um, and you can wear them a couple different ways, which I've shown you here. So firstly, you can kind of connect the first two studs together with the chain at the front, or you can even wear it behind. Or if you only have one piercing, you can wear the chain with one stud as well like I've done in the third hole. It's very simple, very subtle, and yeah, I, I love kind of wearing my earrings like this as well. I also wanted to show you their cuffs. So if you are like me and you are a bit of a wuss when it comes to getting piercings, this is perfect because they have a cuff that you can kind of just hook onto your ear. Um, it has diamonds all around it and it has a chain that you connect to one of the studs. And I love this one. I always get compliments and people pointing it out to me when I, whenever I wear it. So you know that it's a good piece. I wear this one when I kind of like go out at night. I think it just adds that bit of extra something and yeah, love this one. And if you are a fan of hoops, they also have a hoop add-on, which I absolutely love. It's so unique the way it wraps around your ear like forwards. They have quite a few hoop designs. They've got one with diamonds on them. These are just the plain 14 karat gold hoops. And yeah, I just think they look so unique. <laughs> and then in my third ear piercing, I have this kind of diamond ear climber, which is called, I think it's called Live. I always think that if you're buying from Ideal for the first time, I don't know why I always think this is like the piece to get. It's just so special and 
it just it just sits on your ear so nicely <laughs> and then lastly i have the eden which i always bring out for <laughs> my more sort of fancy evening events um i wore this for a wedding last month and so many people commented on it it's just a very sort of dainty chain with these three diamonds at the bottom and what's great about this one is you can also wear it with their necklaces so this is also an ideal piece this is their solo diamond necklace and you can can actually attach this one to the chain as well. So that's all the pieces I have from Ideal. I wear these as my everyday pieces because I don't need to worry about them tarnishing or changing color. When I do wear my other earrings, which I will show you in a minute, I'll kind of wear them for whatever occasion I wanna wear them for. And then I sort of just change back into these as my everyday wear. They're so simple yet special and all of the add-ons just mix and match together so easily. And that's kind of my philosophy about my clothes as well, just buying things that mix and match endlessly. And it's just nice to be able to also find a jewelry brand where that same philosophy sort of translates as well. <laughs> so I just changed my stack into something a bit different. But moving on to other earrings that I have. So I love hoop earrings. I like to do like three kind of different hoops of different sizes. So the first pair I've got are from Majuri. They are this sort of medium size. And then I have this teeny tiny one. I think this one is from Misoma. It is a couple of years old. Um, I used to wear this one all the time. Then what are the hoops? I've got these thicker ones. These are from Majuri. I think it's called the everyday, everyday hoop. I didn't catch that. Could you try again? Oh my goodness. No, I wasn't talking to you. <laughs> and then I have, oh, these are quite cute. I have this hoop from Majuri. It has this kind of little topaz gem at the bottom. <laughs> it's so cute. Then what else? These are from Majuri as well. I like the, the color for summer. I think it's a really, really nice one for summer. And I also got the matching stud as well for a bit more of that summery color. A couple from PD Paola. So I think these are really special. I have these two. This one has this kind of blue gem at the bottom and it's like a little, it's a little hoop as well. And then this white one, really, really cute. And yeah, I really do just kind of mix and match all of my pieces together. So you'll see me sort of wear lots of different looks. This is another hoop from PD Palace. I really love hoops. <laughs> This one is a kind of, it's not a round shape, it's sort of a bit oblong, if you can see. And it has these kind of like little um, crystals at the front as well. I got these Christian Dior earrings. They were a 30th birthday present from some really close friends of mine. So these are so pretty. They are gold, you see the CD, and then they have a little pearl at the bottom. So I, I kind of save these for like special occasions. I have these little green studs. These are also from Majuri. I got them because my birth month is in May. So I think this video is actually going live the day before my birthday. So my birthday is tomorrow. Um, these, yeah, these little emerald studs I got because I like a kind of birthstone or anything Gemini related, which you'll see a little bit more. I think I've got a Gemini necklace. I also have these earrings. These are from a brand called Reliqua. I think they're Australian. I got these about four years ago. These were, I think, the first pair of earrings I purchased when I was living in Sydney, so they're quite sentimental to me. Um, I'll see if they're still available. I really like these. I think they're quite special. This sort of spiral hoop design, I think is really unique. Then I have 
these hoops. I really do have a lot of hoops, guys. <laughs> these were actually sent to me from Carrot London. They, let me just show you one. They are slightly, a slightly more blingier, bigger hoop but I thought they were really nice for special occasions. So they have the diamonds on the outside, but then they also have them on the inside. I don't know if you can see that, the inside there, which I think is quite nice. You can kind of, it just gives more sparkles, I guess. And then I also have these ones from PD Paola. These I kind of wear around like the festive Christmas time, because I think they're Super cute, super fun. They actually have a matching necklace as well, which I'll show you in a bit. And then lastly, I don't remember where I got these from. I'm really sorry, but these are sort of an add-on as well um, that you can wear and the pearl sort of sticks out from underneath. And I wish I could remember where these are from, but I don't, I'm sorry. So I think that's it for earrings. So moving on to necklaces now and this necklace is very sentimental because it's kind of the first piece that I bought when I decided I'm going to stop buying fast fashion and I'm going to start buying just better quality pieces. So this is from Missoma and it's from the Lucy Williams collection and it's the mini, I think it's from the Lucy Williams collection, but it's the mini um, Oh, I can't remember the name of it now. The mini something, I'll just show you what it looks like. I used to wear this piece every single day before I sort of kind of started having a bit of a collection. So yeah, that's very sentimental. This next one is from Majuri. I've got quite a few pieces from there actually. I think for the price and the quality, Majuri is a really good place to go, but these are, um, this is the matching necklace that goes with the emerald green stud. So this is also a little green pendant. Um, I think this one is 14 karat gold as well. So often I like to kind of stack these pieces together. Then I have a little A necklace also from Majuri. And yeah, I just like these kind of little dainty necklaces and I like to sort of put them together in different ways. This one is a Gemini piece from Majuri as well. Is that the right way? Yes. <laughs> so you have, it's like a little coin, not coin, it's a circle. And the constellation on it is the Gemini constellation. And I also have this necklace from Monica Vinida. This was given to me on my 30th birthday from my sisters well they're not really my sisters but we grew up together so i consider them to be my sisters my family it's this absolutely gorgeous monica vinida necklace with the pendant so they got it engraved for me so one side says a l the other side says 30 because it was for my 30th birthday and then on the inside if I can open it. <laughs> Which side does it open? Okay, I got it. Oh, it opens upwards, whoops. Um, they engraved Sisters for Life, which I cried when they gave it to me and I opened it up. I've got two sort of fun pieces, which I got from Etsy. So I wanted some color during the summer, about maybe one or two summers ago. And I just, yeah, I just found these on Etsy and I'm definitely gonna be getting them out again this summer. I think because I wear a lot of plain outfits, as you know, well not plain, I don't wanna use the word plain, just simple. It's nice to kind of add a bit of color in your necklaces. This is the matching necklace to those kind of spherical earrings from PD Paola. Then I have a couple of chains that I used to wear all the time. If you are um, an old, not an old, <laughs> you're not old. If you've been with me from the beginning, I used to wear this boyfriend chain from Majuri all the time, but I don't think they make it anymore, which is really, really sad because I get questions about this all the time. I think it was called the boyfriend chain. And then also this rope chain, which is incredible. I don't know why they stopped making this one. I love wearing this one as well because it's a bit thicker. The chain is a bit thicker than most of my other chains. So it makes a nice um, 
balance or contrast. And then I also have this snake chain from PD Paola. This one is just a plain, um, kind of quite thin snake chain. And you'll see most of my pieces are gold because I just decided that that was what suited me the most. When I first bought that Misoma piece, I that's when I sort of thought, you know what, I'm just gonna stick to gold. Um, and then gold became really trendy and popular. Or maybe I chose gold because it was trendy and popular at the time, I don't know. But I definitely do prefer gold pieces on myself. I have another Gemini piece from Reliqua. So I got this when I was in Australia as well. This square pendant. So that's it for the small necklaces. I have a couple, I think I've got one big chunky one that you definitely would have seen. Yes, this chunky chain necklace. This one is from Misoma as well. And I also have the matching bracelets to go with it. I guess we can go onto bracelets now. So I have, I bought these matching bracelets and I got one in gold and one in silver. And I really like wearing them together. I like the, the kind of big chain detail. The one that I'm wearing now is from Majuri. Hang on, let me take my watch off. This one is solid gold as well. So I can just leave it on and not worry about it. It's very tangled at the moment, hang on. So this is the bracelet. I'm trying to lift my arm a bit awkwardly to cover my face. <laughs> it's a little moon charm that has diamonds on it. So yeah, I can kind of keep that one on because it's solid gold and diamonds and yeah, shower in it, sleep in it, all that kind of good stuff. I don't know if this counts as a bracelet, but I do get questions on my watch. So I have the iWatch, the Apple um, iWatch, and I bought this strap from Amazon. And I actually made sure that I could find a strap that I liked before I decided on the watch, which I know sounds crazy, but that is the way I operate. Um, and yeah, I just found this nice one on Amazon. I'll, I'll link it, I'll link everything down below. So the next two bracelets are quite like sentimental pieces. So the first one is a gold charm bracelet that I've had since I was a baby. I used to keep this on me at all times. I don't know why I took it off actually, but you can see um, it has all these charms on it. So there's like a heart, there is, what is that? I think that's a teapot. There's a bell, an iron, um, another little bell, a pagoda. My favorite one is the abacus. Oh, there it is. <laughs> There's a little gold charm abacus on it. This one was given to me from some family friends when I was a baby. And then the next one is from a close friend that I met in Australia. We used to work together. She got me this bracelet from Swarovski. So mine is the sun and hers is the moon because of the time difference from London to Sydney. I thought that was really cute. So yeah, that was, that's that. It says passionate at the back as well. So moving on to rings now, and I really don't have that many rings. I think in my videos, you'll kind of see me wear the same couple over and over again. They are also all from Majuri, except for my engagement ring. I just think Majuri is, it is just a really good place to go for kind of affordable, but good quality pieces. Okay, so this can't just be me, but I really don't like wearing rings on my index finger. <laughs> it feels just very strange to me. I don't know why. So yeah, when I wear rings, I wear them in these three fingers, but please let me know if you are the same or if I am just really, really weird. So I'll show you these three first because I think I often wear these three together. So we have this kind of ball situation going on and I like kind of stacking these three with each other. So the first one is this kind of curved, then the one in the middle is a kind of pearl one, but it still has that same like texture. And then the last one is like a mini ball texture to it. And I think 
they look really nice together. Then these you definitely have seen because I wear them all the time. I think these are called the candy dome rings and I think they're just quite a fun sort of added bit of color to my otherwise quite neutral outfits. So I've got this kind of like purple one at the top and this orange one at the bottom. I have a croissant dome ring, which I think was very popular at one point. <laughs> so you probably have seen this on Instagram on other people, but I was influenced by that. And then that's it really. Oh no, sorry. I've got one more from Majuri. This is the Pave diamond ring. So this one is 14 karat gold and diamonds. It just sparkles really nicely in the light. And then lastly, I have my engagement ring, which I'll show you. So that is my engagement ring. It's an emerald cut with diamonds on the band as well. I hope that you enjoyed my jewelry collection. I feel like that was a lot, but that is literally pretty much every piece that I own. I hope that it gave you some inspiration on what to invest in or what you want to add to your collection. I will of course make sure everything is linked in the description box. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.